bop, 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 bop. It's nice, it's beautiful. Look, I'm on a little thing. All right, let's go. <laughs> Look, this fell off, my bad. You're supposed to take care of that. I would have I would have thrown her in the snow, but I feel like that would have been mean. So I caught her. But <laughs> but, but that came out, so. So look at her. Look at her go. Look at the swagger in her walk. She thinks she's cool, like if she runs America. She's like, this is my country now. I run this. We got a mission today. We're going to walk to Wendy. How many minutes away from here? From my house. It's probably like 25, 30 minutes. So it's 25 minutes. And how cold is it outside right now? Negative 18 degrees. Oh, <laughs> it's like around 30. It's really cold. It's not really cold. It's like okay cold. Sorry. I am gonna share a story. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, in old times, boyfriends and girlfriends is always like whether you should have them towards the road or not towards the road because you know to be a gentleman. And in old times in America and in Britain, it was kind of like people didn't have bathrooms in their houses, and sometimes they didn't have outhouses or anything like that. So what they would do is they would throw poop and pee outside of their window. And all the stuff would come over here and they would throw it. And so if anyone was to get hit, it would be the guy. So the girl should be towards the road. And granted, she's closer to the cars, but at least she won't have poop on her while they walk. So I was just giving her a short little history lesson on bathrooms and walking in the street. Now we're gonna talk about garbage culture in America. So the garbage car comes every once a week. Yep, it? once a week. Um, so everybody, what is today? Wednesday? And the, so in the area that I live, it's they come on Wednesday. Yep. Wow, the car is passing by. So everybody will put their garbage. How do you say that? The gar they'll put it in the front of the driveway. And they'll also put the recycling next to it. And they both get taken at the same time. So you separate the recycling and garbage for, you know, reduce, reuse, recycling and all that stuff. I don't think you guys are really good at reduce, reuse, and recycle. I don't think we are either, but we try to be. Okay, Some people are better than others. <laughs> so that's kind of different from the country that I live. I mean, Taiwan. What am I saying? There's like a lot of differences. Um, I'm, I'm gonna share some with you guys because there's a ton of differences. Like for example, I just recently got my license and I am 18 now. But in America, at least where I live, because there's different rules for all the states, there's a ton of states, so there's different rules. But in my state, New York, you can be 16 years old and be able to drive. And then you can be 16, when you're 16 years and a half old, you can drive on your own if you have your license. But you cannot drive past nine at night. You can't night. drive past nine until you're 18 years old. Yes. So Nikki told me that in America or in Taiwan, there's not a lot of like students driving or a lot of students working at all. Like I have a, a job as well. And so it's really different because most people here have jobs and most people here are driving already. So I thought that was really interesting. Plenty of things to share. So if you're watching this and you're from Taiwan, <laughs> I think you are amazing. Um, Stop it. Best of wishes. I don't know when she's posting this, but <laughs> I hope you do well on your test. I know you guys got a big one coming up. You've been studying hard, so hope that works out for you guys. Get into the college of your dreams and whatnot. Um, I think yeah. you should stop. Okay, I'm stopping.